Jeff with Lincoln Diesel Performance here for another Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, today we're filling a set of uh, Duramax cylinder heads, concreting them, as a lot of people call it. And people seen our video of filling a block a week or so ago, and we're asking about uh, you know if we had any tips for doing cylinder heads and just tips in general. So we figured out hey, let's go ahead and do a Tech Tip Tuesday on filling or concreting blocks, heads, whatever it is. So again, like I said, we have a set of heads we're doing today. So it's a little different than doing a block, but basically the same principle. So if we're doing cylinder heads, we mount them on our engine stand, as you see here, and the purpose of that, they can swing. So one, one important thing when you're filling is you have to get all the air bubbles out. You want it nice and dense. If you have air pockets, there's no point in doing it. You can create a weak spot. Cylinder head, not so much, but on a block, you gotta have, you know, you want it as dense as possible. If you have air pockets, the cylinder can still crack and it defeats the purpose of it. So again, you know, we got it to where it can swing. Uh, a large uh, plastic hammer, this is actually a dead blow plastic hammer, works great because you can smack the cylinder head around to help work the air pockets out. They like said you can swing it, shake it, and then the key thing, head, block, whatever, air hammer. So for this particular one, we got a nice coating. We didn't want to hurt the heads. I put this rubber stopper on there. So it still pounds on it pretty good, but it's not uh, its not gonna beat the head up as bad. On a block, I just run a flat hammer bit like that down the sides at the base of the cylinders. And like on a Cummins where the oil cooler cavity is, if you're filling that, make sure you work that really good to get the air out. Uh, another cool trick. The soft funnels work great for multiple reasons. You can squeeze it and shape it to form pretty much any hole. You can bend it around as needed. And then what's cool when you're done, when the stuff dries, you just take this thing, squeeze it, and it falls right off. So you can always reuse it. And then as you see here, we duct taped it on. So now you got it like a spout you can pour. And I did leave, I always leave the back open like that so you get air. Uh, in and out, but yeah, this works great. So that's a good idea. Rip it off, transfer it over to the next bottle. If you are doing a block and you're going for maximum density and you want to get as much concrete in there as possible for strength, you definitely want to use the maximum amount of water because it makes it easier to work with. It'll work in all the areas. If you're going more for sound deadening um, or just to fill to run less water, you can you can mix it a little bit light on the water. But for what we're doing here with these cylinder heads, or when we're doing blocks, we're putting the maximum amount of water per jug to help so it can work into those areas. So again, this works really slick. You get it done, you drive the freeze plugs in, and then we go level it up, and we'll show you that here in a second. So we're gonna put together a bunch of clips so we don't have to bore you with the whole video. We're gonna edit some clips, go through the whole process, show you some of the tricks, and then we'll show you uh, the, the end result. Thanks. All right, so now the heads are filled. We've got our plugs 
in the end, so this thing is fully capped. Uh, one thing we didn't talk about earlier, uh, so if you look here, we've got duct tape. This duct tape runs both directions to seal all the water jackets off. And we use duct tape because it's, you know, it's better for sealing. Uh, if, if we're doing a block where we're not gonna have any concrete pushing on it, uh, masking tape works too. But on something like this, we, we chose to use duct tape because it will seal better. And then we have these plates where they seal off all the uh, cooling system passages. So we got this thing completely sealed. We put our plugs in the end and now we bring it into a controlled environment where we've got it sitting on spacers. You see, we've got shims so we can get these things level because it's super important, especially on a block to be level. So we bring them in here, we set them on, we go ahead and work them around until we got them level. You see, we've got our precision level here. We're level in both directions. So now they sit. You could take these plates off after about 24 hours. This isn't like torque plating on these cylinder heads. This is literally there just to seal it, keep the concrete from heaving up through and onto the deck surface. So we'll let these sit for a couple days. We'll pull these plates off. We'll peel the duct tape off, clean them up. And then we won't pour them for a full seven days just to avoid any machine work. Now on an engine block, you want to torque plate it ideally. And then like we got one that we just did out here at Cummins. We put the main studs in, we put the girdle. So that block is twisted into place as it's how it's gonna be. The same principle as torque plate honing. So after we fill it, we put the head on, we torque it. We'll let that sit for seven full days with the head torqued and the mains torqued. And we will not do any machine work on that block for about a month to let that concrete fully cure to get the maximum you know benefit out of it. So uh, it is a waiting game. Uh, it's a thing of patience. If you rush it, you're not gonna have good results. There's no point doing it. You're just gonna have an engine that's gonna run out. So, you know, what we showed about, you know, working the air pockets out, the reason that's important on a block, you want to get the air pockets out because like I said in the video earlier, you want the mixture as dense as possible for maximum strength. Also for heat dissipation, the block filler is, uh, it is designed to have the same expansion rate as cast iron, as well as dissipate heat like cast iron would. So if you have air pockets or voids, like on say the set of cylinder heads, you're not worried about strength, but now you're not gonna dissipate that heat through. And that is the reason that you fill a cylinder head so you can go there and port it and to dissipate heat better instead of having you know open voids. So uh, hopefully this helps people. Uh, we'll show quite a bit of tricks on this. As always, if anybody has any questions, feel free to hit me up. So thanks for watching.